the shared experiences, I have learned that the Pacific Island states are a unique ecosystem, closely related geographically, and therefore the importance of improving biosecurity in this Pacific Island country is of economic importance. Thank you. When I heard your voice of audio scene, your breeze of your voice made me so while we all come from different Pacific Island countries, networking and establishing those uh, point of contacts here within our biosecurity will help us to share what happens within our countries and also in your own countries. Thank you. It is very crucial for us to protect our country because we are small island countries and perhaps we don't have any types of uh, expertise in order to minimize if there is any new outbreak or education. I've got information from my colleagues from Pacific Islands. It is useful for myself, it is useful for my country, for the future, so it is useful. Okay. So we went out with a, a team made up of uh, pathologists, entomologists, and uh, other specialized people in the plant biosecurity in Darwin. Culture Department in Darwin. And so we, I learned that uh, from, they can identify um, a lot of uh, heads and they, you know, they let me know how to identify those pests on their host plants. There's a lot of things that I learned in Australia, like the monitoring and the surveillance for food fly at the high risk areas. The, control and uh, management of the red infected uh, red infected virus, inspection of the fresh fruits and veggies of market for export of states or other opposite countries. So I got to see about um, the importance of being prepared, is preparedness and response, as well as the importance of surveillance. I understand there's been a lot of investment in surveillance in Australia, and um, I got to see um, all the policy bits that are involved in there and the importance of that. So yeah, okay. so my placement with the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources was basically uh, I was placed at the plant uh, exports division. I got to learn about the different uh, uh, processes that uh, take place uh, when it comes to the export of plant and plant commodities out of Australia. And I've got to learn about the, uh, the various uh, uh, horticultural produce or products that are being exported and the process that are involved in the inspection and certification uh, when it comes to complying with the overseas or uh, important countries requirements. Oh, I'm yeah. very happy that I involved in this education and continuing program which I will take back to my own country here this. Knowing how to identify then which pests are serious pests it's very important when we develop a biosecurity system and like strategies or policies to avoid those pests coming to town. because it has broadened my knowledge on, on certain issues and it has certainly improved my skills, um, particularly communication skills. And so I would take back what I've learned and apply it in, in my workplace. Um, I would conduct workshops and uh, training courses for the junior officers. Mm -hmm. And uh, most importantly, I would like to maintain the network that I have developed over the five weeks with the other fellow participants to ensure that we continue to develop together, we continue to grow together, and we continue to um, strengthen our biosecurity, uh, our respective biosecurity systems, and regionally by continuously communicating and learning from each other.